Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put a PS5 active controller overlay on your stream or recording in OBS. This is gonna be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So I will mention for this video, I'm gonna be doing everything on PC. I'm gonna be playing from PC. I'm gonna be streaming and or recording from PC. So to have this method exactly how I'm showing you, you're gonna to need to do everything on PC. So the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and we're gonna be coming to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is gonna be for the JRAD website. And this is where we're gonna be able to download the application for our PlayStation 5 controller overlay. From this point, what we're gonna be doing is coming to the section here on the left. We're gonna be looking for the free tab here. We're gonna be clicking this open. And here we're going to be brought down to the free tab where we're going to get a bunch of free different things that we can get. What we're going to be looking for is the PS5 white, the UCR slash VJoy windows only. And again, this will only work on Windows. And what we're going to be doing is clicking on this right here and we're going to be downloading this application. Once your download is done, what we're going to be doing is moving it to a location where you can find it easily. So currently I have it on my desktop right here. Now by default, it will be in a .zip file. To extract it, all you need to do is right click inside Windows, extract all, and then you will be given this folder with different contents inside. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Once this is open, we're going to be opening up the folder inside this folder. And here we'll get a couple of different things that we're going to be using to set up this controller. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up the VJoy setup.exe right here. We simply need to select this, double click to install, click yes on the pop-up, and then we'll have to go through this setup wizard to simply install it. Select everything here in this application, click next, click install, and then your application will be installed. Now from this point, it is recommended to reboot your PC before we go any further. So just be sure to do that first. Once your PC has restarted, we're gonna be coming back to this folder. We're then gonna be opening up the UCR folder right here. And we're then gonna be opening up the UCR application or the UCR.exe file right here. From this point, what we need to do is make sure that we currently have our PlayStation 5 profile selected. It should be by default here in the UCR application. Simply select this here on the right. Once this is selected, we need to make sure that some of these buttons are lighting up. So what I would recommend doing is testing either the d-pad left right down or up and make sure that these are all working so when i click it to the right the right d-pad is showing when i click it down down is showing up when i click up up is showing so just make sure some of these are working here which they are for me so that's fine what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to be opening up obs once this is done we're going to be adding two different browser sources onto our obs so we can have our playstation 5 controller overlay what i'm going to be doing is hiding this in the background so i'm just going to be left wing the black screen in obs i'm going to be coming down to any scene that you would like to add your controller to i'm going to be clicking the plus button here under our sources i'm going to be adding a new browser source i'm going to be naming this ps5 controller one I'm going to be adding it to a new source. I'm going to be clicking OK. So what we're going to be doing from this point is we're going to need to open up the instructions file.txt that is included in the zip file that we extracted from before. And we're going to be taking the URL from either player one or player two, depending on what your controller is connected. If you'd like to change it to any other player, simply edit the P equals right here at the top of the string from one to two, or if it's three or four, you can change that here as well. So for me, I'm currently using player one. So I'm simply going to be copying this here. I'm going to be pasting this link. We're going to need to change the width to 1050 and we're going to need to change the height to 850 everything else you can feel free to leave here by default unless you would like to add a custom frame rate right here click ok and then in a second or two your controller will be loaded here and you can see we now have a ps5 controller on our screen now we do need to add one extra thing here as well we need to add the vjoy player on top of this as well again you're either going to need to player one or player two but of course you can also edit this with the p equals so if you need to do a three or four but it should match up and align with what you have done previously so copy whichever one here is best for you again what we're going to be doing is coming back to the sources we're going to be clicking on on the browser source. I'm going to be naming a PS5 controller VJoy overlay. Again, I'm going to be pasting the URL in here and I'm going to be adding the exact same width and height that we did before. So 1050 and 850. If you added any settings to your previous one, be sure to copy them here. And then our controller overlay is going to sit on top of this as well. Now from this point, what you're going to need to do is select both of your sources here. So these need to be connected and kept at the exact same size. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing and selecting both of these by holding the shift button here to select both. They'll both be highlighted in blue. We're going to be right clicking and we're going to be grouping these selected items, which is going to combine them together. And I'm just going to be naming this PS5 controller. And now we can move and scale these around together. So from this point, you can move your PlayStation 5 controller and scale it up to however you want. And now you can feel free to test and experiment with any of your PlayStation 5 buttons to make sure that they work. So for me, all of mine seem to be working right now without any issues. And just like that, we've added an active PlayStation 5 controller overlay to our stream. Now from this point, I will also give a shout out to the creator of this. I didn't actually create it. It was actually JRAD himself. 
I'll be leaving a link to some of his stuff in the description down below. He does some different graphic design, coding, and helping out streamers with different kind of things. So if you're interested in any of that, I'll be leaving a link to this in the description down below, and you can be sure to check that out if that's something you're interested in. From this point, if you are having any issues with this overlay, I would recommend joining this Discord server that is added in this text file or contacting the creator himself on Twitter. I feel like he did a really great job and this guide really helped me out. I just decided to make a video version of this as well to help people out a little bit more so it'd be a little bit clearer. But I feel like overall this works really well and this is the best PlayStation 5 controller that I have found and for me it works really, really well. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to add a PlayStation 5 controller lay onto your videos or streams using OBS. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.